Hello world, we're back again with some more uh, reaction videos for the night of April 7th or whatever this is. I don't know whenever this is going to go up. Leroy is doing a, a dance. He's, we're, doing, we're doing a Barbie trailer, right? Uh, we can do the Barbie trailer if you want. I don't have the Barbie trailer up. Uh, but even if I did, what is is that your Barbie? I don't know what that was. I was trying to do the... Um, uh, what's the thing that they did in the Pulp Fiction? They were doing the... I mean, it, it was never close hands. It was like the two when the. It's been ten years since I watched that movie. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's shown. No, right now we're about to look at Clone High. Oh. Um, so I did. I want to say this is this was Lord Miller, right? No, this is the Russo brothers, right? Are you joking? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I I just know everybody talks about it. Everybody's like. The Clone High show should come back. I don't, yeah, I don't the, this, this is no. This was this was uh, Lord Miller. Okay. If you like say the so. The Russos? What? I'm, hey, man, I'm... What about this makes you think the Russos? I'm just messing with you, man. I'm, I, like, I just wanted to see what you were going to say. I was like, uh, uh, yeah, Phil Lord, Christopher mm -hmm. Miller, Bill Lawrence. Now, Will Forte is a part of this, right? He was one of the voice actors for this. So original. I watched the original show. I don't really mm -hmm. remember it, but I liked it when it was on, but I couldn't tell you who voiced who. So, here, so if you tell me he is, sure. Okay, so here's who I got. Will Forte plays. Uh, you got Michael McDonald, Christopher N Miller, uh, Chris, Krista Miller, Phil. You didn't Moore. say who Will Forte played. You just said his name. Abe, Abe Lincoln. Okay. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm naming the the people who are like involved in this because I, I, the cast is amazing. Um, uh, Donald Faison, Andy Dick, uh, Deborah Wilson, Zach Braff, Jack Black, Marilyn Manson, uh, Michael J. Fox was in this. Like like the cast is very Sarah Clark, Sarah Chalk. Again, the clap, the cast is so I, I'm I'm shocked that this flew below the radar for me. So set this up for me. What is Clone High? If I remember, I think it was clones of like famous and historical people, but teen versions of them. So like there was a teen Abe Lincoln, a teen a teen Cleopatra, a teen all this kind of stuff, and they they were just in high school. You are correct, sir. According to IMDb, historical figures who have been cloned and placed back in high school, including Abe Lincoln, Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, John F. Kennedy, and more, as they face the trials of normal teenage life. So yeah. why was this show so popular? Oh, I, Before, I can't tell you. I don't, I don't know. I just really? thought it was funny. Yeah, I, just I, guess, it was funny. I guess what I'm saying is, like, why was this such a cult favorite? Because every time I hear people talk about of a certain age, they're like... Clone High, Clone High, Clone High. And then when the trailer dropped, people were like, Clone High is back to wash your mouth from Velma. And I'm like, I didn't I didn't realize Velma was taking all these shots. Like, like <laughs> I mean, we, we kind of talked about that in the review though, right? People did not like Velma. Well, I guess the, the question I was trying to figure out is is what 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 about Clone High made it so remarkable that people loved? And I guess when I'm it, so it was the teenage hijinks that they got into the, the act that they were teenagers in high school and mm -hmm. it was funny but was it topical was it like what was the humor like was it haha -ha funny or was it satirical uh I mean it was kind of more like irreverent stuff it wasn't like a, a laugh track type show okay. it was kind of offbeat stuff I mean I, I, when we said at the beginning, saying those names kind of gives you the idea of what it was, right? It's Lord mm -hmm. Miller and Bill Lawrence. Bill Lawrence gave us Scrubs. Mm -hmm. I think Bill Lawrence gave us Cougar Town. Bill Lawrence gave us... What else, what else did Bill Lawrence do? Whoa. Ooh, intense. Uh, little Godzilla's awake. He's fighting sleep. But he's going oh, yeah, to... Bill, I mean, Bill Lawrence gave us help uh, bring up about Ted Lasso. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's get to this trailer, man. All right, here we go. Drop that. All right. Abe, something feels off. Whoa! Ah, whoa. <laughs> A little spaceship! Ah. 20 years ago, Cinnamon J. Scudworth created clones of historical figures and sent them to a high school called Clone High. And then suddenly, he froze the clones on winter prom night. Our mission is to unfreeze those clones and secretly groom them to one day rule the world. And so begins Operation Spread Eagle. <laughs> oh my god, this is a nightmare. Somebody wake me up. He's 
Great. Wow. What's your name? It's Confucius. Harriet Tubman. JFK. Cleopatra. If it isn't Joan of Barth. I'm so for bus. Do you know what my real name is? Christopher Columbus. Cool. Not cool. Frida Kahlo. Shred, Frida, shred. Where do you think you're going, unibrow? Does anyone mind if I kick off a montage? <laughs> cool. I like boobies and butts. So sex positive. <laughs> yes, I am positive I like sex. <laughs> Why you have so many thoughts and unsolicited opinions? It's becoming clearer which clones have the potential to be world leaders. <laughs> Rock fight. Whoever gets hit in the nuts wins. Oh. <laughs> Oh, let's play again. Oh, so fun. <sighs> you go first. Does this capture what you thought the show was? I don't, maybe. I think so. I mean, it's kind of weird and irreverent. I feel like that's what the show was back on MTV. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I def, like I said, I watched it. I wasn't the, the biggest fan, but I enjoyed what I watched. Um, I'm not like, oh, this is going to be like edgy or, or even the parts where it seems edgy. Back then, what seemed edgy isn't necessarily edgy now. It seems like it's still kind of doing that same type of humor, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I, that's not saying it had to be anything different. It, it, I mean, I think it's going to be fine. I kind of want to watch the show again. And I'm wondering where if it's streaming anywhere, like the original Clone High. Is it on HBO? It should be since it's, well. I mean, you know, it's HBO, man. I don't know. Yeah, that is true. HBO kill anything. Right. <laughs> to, to, to save a buck. Like, it, it kind of, it, it, it's giving me those same vibes. But again, I wasn't the biggest fan to remember every single detail. But this is kind of what I remember from the original show, for better or for worse. Some jokes landed in here. Some jokes didn't. But, um. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not like, oh, yes. Like if I think we've talked about this before. There was a cartoon called Mad Jack the Pirate that I really liked. No, Nobody watched it. It was like on Fox Kids or whatever. And mm -hmm. it was just a weird take about this pirate who got in weird adventures. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of offbeat and off kilter. Um, like if that show were to come back, I'd be like, yes. Or when, when Animaniacs came back, I was all yeah. on board for Animani Animaniacs, and I loved that. But with this coming back, it's cool, but I can either I can go for it either way. Okay. Um, maybe I'm not the target audience for this, mm -hmm. because as I was watching this, I remember this animation style, and mm -hmm. I've not really been a real big fan of it. Um, and it's, again, there's we have the conversation of, is it good? And if it, or it, hold on, is it for you and is it good? Those are two separate questions. Um, I don't, I'm not sure this is for me. Like I, I, as I watched this, I was like, it seems okay, but it doesn't seem like it's something that I, like appointment television, like you said. And I never watched the begin the first series. So I'm not really, I have no reference point, but it does look like it's from the same, the, the minds that the people I like. So maybe just this trailer didn't capture that essence of the show mm -hmm. because perfect example um we talked about ted lasso for a second ted lasso's trailer doesn't give you a sense the first trailer for ted lasso doesn't really do a good job of selling ted lasso does that make sense it's like once you watch Ted Lasso and you get involved with these characters you're like oh i get it now but that first trailer didn't really do a good job of selling it. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? And I think that maybe this show is kind of the same way. It may be good, but maybe the trailer does just gives you a glimpse of what you might get from. Um, and two, there's a lot of shows that have borrowed from Clone High. I think Netflix is overwhelmed with them, where you have Inside Job. Mm -hmm. Oh, this kid. <laughs> I gotta get him in a second, but. Uh, You've got, uh, you know, the Imperfects. You've got uh, Inside Job. You've got all these different shows that uh, seem to borrow from Clone High. Like Clone High was the original. And that the rest of them have come through and been like, "Hey, we like that. We're going to do our own take." Uh, Seth Meyers has really 
jumped on that train of like borrowing or or being inspired by what it looks like clone high was sure yeah um it'll be interesting to see it said coming this spring it'll be interesting to see what this is mm -hmm. and if people jump on board because people always say they want shows to come back and then when they do they're like oh this isn't what i wanted and thundercats it'll, it'll thundercats be, is a perfect example it'll be curious i mean i'll be curious to see if, if people are excited about this or not like if, if the, that vocal minority or majority is going to be enough to sustain this or something. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because um, Thundercats, uh, I, um, Dan Larson from Secret Galaxy, does a very good breakdown. Uh, people complaining about the most recent iteration of Thundercats, and they're like, "I hate this animation." You had a great Thundercats show, you didn't support it. Um, it was it it was done very well. Now, granted, there was some problems with merchandising that kind of helped sink the show, but you had a good Thundercat show, and you everybody wanted Thundercats to come back, wanted, 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 and it came back, and it didn't, and people didn't support it as much as 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 they as as much as they said they wanted it, didn't get as much support as they did. Um, so let's see. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, folks, that'll do it. Do it for this one here. Uh, let us know if you're going to watch this or not. Are you excited? Were you a fan of the original show when it uh, yeah. first aired? Good question. Let us know. Or, um, or is this show another good point that you that that you kind of touched on? Is this show coming back in a crowded market where it's no longer the show that caught people's attention? Does that make sense? Like it's like it's coming back where there's already edgier shows doing it better. Sure. So answer all those questions below in the comments on the YouTube page. You can find us on YouTube with the. I, we I try will and, answer. I will answer. I you will, will talk answer. To you. Uh, we try on y'all Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Nerdy Boys Productions. Um, yeah. We have.